Hi guys, it's Sharon with Little Britain Company and oh my gosh, the orange bags are back. <laughs> I was so excited that they went back to orange. I don't know why the change for a while. They went to the kind of the white bags with the orange printing on them. Um, but the orange bags are back, which is really kind of super fun because seeing the orange bag at your door is always, you know, it's always pretty exciting. Uh, so I clearly have a Timu haul for you today. It's not a big one, so you don't need to, you know, stock up and <clears throat> find such a good resting place. But it is kind of a fun one. Um, this one's geared a little bit towards, you know, Easter and some stuff coming up. Uh, but not all of it because uh, I'm going to start by showing you just the first thing that comes to me and then I'll get a little more sorting. I didn't sort. I was so excited. I like slid open the bags, take a quick look inside and then came rushing in to get to show you. So excited because orange bags, you know? Okay. Anyway, so the first thing, which actually is my biggest disappointment, I uh, got a pair of shoes and you know, the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same thing. Did I buy? Yes, I did buy a pair of shoes from them before and they weren't awful. Um, and I can wear them, and I bought them in a size 11, uh, which I, I don't know. As we get older, I guess our foot spreads a little bit. So now I'm kind of at 11. I have a very big foot, um, an 11 and a half. Little Brit takes after me. So I ordered these in an 11 because they're like a flip-flop type thing, sandal. So here they are. They were cute. I was like, this is cute, even if they're not. And they are light. They're very light. I don't know how they would wear um, they're kind of plasticky feeling. They don't, they don't smell bad. Um, however, when I put them on, my heel hangs out. These wear like a size 10. What's interesting is I think it has to do with where this piece is because my toes sit back here. So this, this is a major fail for me. I'll have to send these back because they really, it's really interesting. Instead of my toes sitting in a, where I think they, they should, I don't know, this sounds right. Uh, but they really are sitting way down, which is forcing my heel over the back of them. So these, you know, if you order these and I'll have the list in, in down below, they're cute and they're not bad. I mean, they actually feel kind of cushiony. So it, I would have been, it would have been interesting to be able to wear these. Um, for me, I would have to order an entire size up and they don't do 12. Um, but for me, I would order these in a 12, so I would say size up for me. That's just what I'm saying. Um, so that's that was the only thing I got out of the bags were just so bulging, and I was like, oh, what's in here? Are these in here? And I tried them on right away. Okay, let's see what else is here. Normally, I sort it um, to some degree. I know, sorry. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Um, most of it's craft. Most of it's sort of like Eastery craft type things, because um, that's really what I do. So I'm going to just do this real quick. I had to show you the shoes right away. Let me dump those, make sure that nothing's stuck in them. I almost feel like I have to hold on to my lovely Timu bags. No, I can't. I can't hold on to that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let me show you... Yeah, every, pretty most of it's crap. But I'll show you the couple of things that I got. Shockingly, no earrings. Oh, talking about earrings. So I am going to show you these. These are so cute. So these, oh, stuck my hand. Um, these are Timu. I got these in like the last haul or two somewhere in there. They're so cute. Um, and and uh, Pat, St. Patrick's Day is, to, is Sunday. So I thought it was the perfect time to wear them. All right, so I'm opening, I got this box. And like I said, I got into a couple of things, and not much. I was just trying to see what was here. I always try to make sure that the orders are there. I have had once or twice orders come in where there was an item missing, or there was an item that was just sort of completely destroyed because of the way they ship stuff. And although I get the way they ship it, you also have to get customers, their product in good shape. Saying. All right, so this is super cute. I did open this one real quick and I shoved it back in the bag real quick. It is 
adorable. He really is adorable. He's got beautiful detail. Really nice. Having said that, he stinks. I mean, like they painted him and barely let him dry and shoved him in the bag. Um, he's a little bit rough, so it makes me feel like there's no, like they just kind of spray painted him and threw him in, you know, without having the, any finish on him. So I may apply some kind of a clear coat finish to him. Uh, he is, however, quite gorgeous, Ho probably hollow the way, the way he feels, he's very light. Um, so he's not a resin piece that would be heavier. Um, so I think that, I think that he's probably hollow on the inside. Um, so anyway, having said all that, I like the way that they packaged him so he wouldn't like break up in the bag. Um, I'm going to keep him in this for a little bit until I can take him outside and just let him air out. But he's adorable. He is adorable. He is, he is exactly what, you know, what I was looking at and it's Timu. I take, a, you know... The fact that he doesn't smell good and it's like he just, they just finished him. I can deal with that. Okay, this now, I just took these out of the bag. So this was an exciting one. I got some special deal. I don't know why, but I got a special deal from Timu. I had looked at these, but they were, they were like $5 or something for these. Maybe even more. It's a set of them. You get six of them. And um, they're different. So he, so. So this, this is interesting. So with these bumblebees, I'm going to show them all to you. Um, in the picture, it looks like they're puffy, like they're, like they're three, three dimensional instead of flat. These are flat. These are flat resin pieces and they're meant to be keychains. It's not what I thought they were going to be. So I'm super happy. I did not pay that full price. I got some special deal from Timu. They offer these to me for a penny, the set of them for a penny. And I said, okay, for a penny, sure. Uh, they are adorable, but they are also huge. I don't know that I would put them. I mean, that's just not keychainy to me. Um, maybe something for a child's backpack would be cute. Hanging off of a backpack, these would be adorable. They really are beautiful. I mean, I, I, I really think they're, well, I don't think, I wouldn't say beautiful. I would say adorable. They are adorable. Um, but I would have liked, I really, really thought based on the picture, and I think you can kind of see that in this picture, they almost look like they should be a fully, you know, like almost like a little bee doll. <laughs> that's, that's really what I thought I was getting. Um, so when they came in, like, you know, uh, so when I took a quick look at the package earlier and I saw that they were flat, I was surprised, but for a penny, I'm, I'm not going to complain. Um, and if you know what you're getting, I think that that's, what's really important. These are, I'm going to say it again, just, you know, just for the people in the back, adorable. <laughs> so as long as you know what you're getting and you have a, a you know, you have an idea, <clears throat> I am not sure how I'm going to use those. I thought they were just so cute. Yeah, I'm using cute. Um, that I was going to put them up on the top of, of, we have a lot of fireplace mantles. Our houses uh, was built in the turn of the century, 1900s, and early 1900s. Um, and so we have fireplaces in almost every room, or at least the, we, we kept the fireplace. Um, There we go. Not being able to think about the term again. Mantle. We get the fireplace mantle. So I was going to put these on top of a fireplace mantle in here in my craft room. Uh, but that's not what I'll do with them now. I'll figure it out. Again, for a penny. I, I can figure that out. Um, okay, so I did get this. I don't even know what this is. I have not opened it yet. I believe this is the banner... Um, so I have a craft show coming up before Mother's Day, and I think this is the banner I ordered to put on the side of the tent. Let's 
So if you're looking for some way to, or something to honor your mother, this is really cute. Um, it is interesting. So as banners go, this just feels um, like a silky material. There's no grommets on it to hang it. That's the first thing I see. So I've got to figure out how to hang it because I really did want to do something. Um, to, you know, you, you've got to attract people to your booth. Um, the more I do this, the more I learn. Um, and I like the idea, but now I suppose what I'll probably do with this one is um, I'll probably just sew, either I'll, I'll turn it and just sew, you know, create almost like a drawstring effect type thing. Um, and sew that through. Um, I'll figure out something. Anyway. Just so you've seen it and you know, and that's interesting. I wonder if the other ones from them are like this too. Although as a material, that would be a usable material to sew with. So all right, let's get that out of the way. Let's see what else we've got here. This is the next biggest thing. What is this? I don't know. Again, I looked at one. I looked at a couple things. Oh, okay. Y'all know how much I love bunnies. So I bought these bunny stickers and I wasn't really sure. Um, you know, they give you sizes, but I'm, you're not sure how they come out. But of course they folded it and you can't fold stickers. That ruins them. So they ruined a good portion of them by folding them. I will try. So I have the um, the Brayards ish, the the smooth ones, and I may try putting them on the wall and then braying over them or smoothing them down and seeing once they're attached if that works. Um, I don't want all of these for that's a lot of bunnies. So I don't want all of them for my walls. Um, I was thinking about putting a few in the media center, just sort of a cute decoration on the walls. Um, we'll see. I really hate it when they fold stuff like that. They, you know, there's, there's gotta be a better way to send it. Um, okay, so moving, let me move that one out of the way. Uh, well, let's see what's next. Oh, I do have earrings in here. so much for me to take a good look at what was in the bags. All right, let's see what I have in here. I think this, this might be the only pair. Oh, it's falling out. Oh, these are cute. These are so cute. I need to take the... All right, so that's what they look like when they first come in. You can kind of see it looks muted. Um, so what they have, when you get these acrylic ones, almost always, they still have their acrylic... Um, plastic coating. Let me get this one on them. Now I've got to figure out which side's got the plastic coating. So what I do is I just take a pin and I gently push into it and it pulls right off. Just like that. This one is a little bit backwards, but you can see how much more how that pops now. That one's super cute. I'm just going to have to reverse. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. So what they did with these. Let me clean the other one off. Um, huh. <laughs> yep, that's Timu for you. So this should be your front side. But the way the earring backing has been put on, it's the back side. With these, it's easy enough to take this and to retwist it so that this becomes your front. It's easy enough. But they are adorable. They are so cute. Let me put let me put the uh, backings on them before I lose the backings. Uh, by the way, for those of you who who are uh, who've been following me, you know that a while ago I opened up a package and there was a tool inside. Um, that I, that you had to kind of take apart, put it back together again. And I had lost a little piece and I could not find it. That was like a month ago or something. I found it this morning. 
like looked down and there it was. Like my mother had been hiding it from me. Sometimes my husband and I um, think that um, my mother who passed away mm, thir almost 13 years ago um, visits us and hides things. So, I, you know, it, it's, it's a thought. Um, anyway, so for Mother's Day, I thought these are just so cute. So this when you this is the die cut. So when you cut these out, you can put, you know, one inside the other, and you get that really nice dimensional effect. So I love this one. So I love the um, uh, oh my golly, I can't read it. Uh, something. Oh. I can read the mom. I can't read that top one. Maybe best mom. I think it might say best mom. There we go. Um, so that one's really cute. I'm going to flip the camera around in a minute. I just, I'm moving some things around here. So, or these things, because was I prepared? No, I was too excited to be prepared. <clears throat> okay. Let me show you the other bigger things, and then I'll show you the smaller things. Okay, there we go. Um, so, oh gosh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a down down camera for these. But I did buy this set of, um, they're meant to be ornaments, but they're, they're Mother's Day geared. And I'll show you those in a minute. Um, so, I wanted to see, because I make handbags sometimes, because I make, um, tote bags and things. I always need like the, the, the stuff that we do for handles. Um, so usually I buy nylon webbing, which is what I have here. This is more of a polyester nylon webbing. Um, I think each one of these is, golly, I can't remember. It's a, it's a decent amount. Um, especially for the price. I'm about to sneeze. I'm so sorry. One moment. There we go. Um, anyway, uh, this is the nylon webbing in the four colors. You got your. I really love the um, the off white. Let me do this. So it it's nylon, but it's not nylon. -y. It doesn't feel as plasticky as some of the ones that I buy here, which is interesting. So we've got the uh, the sort of the ecru. Um, we've got the black. Is this one nylon or is this cotton? This feels cotton. Okay, I was pretty. Huh. <laughs> it's bad, I know. These feel cottony to me. So they are not doing the nylon thing. Um, they might be a mixture. So white and the final one this was the you know this four pack the final one is navy um i do like using these for some of my bags uh mostly i like the i generally like the nylon for my bags better uh just because it's stiffer and i use the nylon for my um my wristlets uh because it's it's, it's stiffer it gives you, you know, longer wear and tear so that is not the same. So then I got this one, which is huge. I just love trying to find information. Pearl pattern, this is cotton. This is like 20 yards or something crazy. Definitely you can see, um, you've got the fraying here and all you do is take a little bit of a, um, well, it's not nylon, so I can't do, usually with the nylon one, I just take a little bit of a, um, lighter and I just do run just a little bit of heat over the little bit of the, of uh, flame over it and it kind of curls up on itself and it's fine. It doesn't run anymore. Um, so this, and then I also bought this one and part of the reason I bought so many of these, um, and my thought process here, I need to make my Little Britain Company tags. I've done it once before and I really need to have a tag on everything so when you guys buy my product, it has a beautiful Little Britain Company um, logo on it. Um, we've just been working on reinventing the logo. Um, so, but where, where we are, I don't want to pay the price of having those made. I have not found a 
somewhere that can make them. I'd rather have them embroidered. Um, but the prices are just pretty expensive. Um, so I haven't found a place yet. I know there are places out there. So hopefully I can find, if you all have an idea of some place that has a really reasonably priced um, embroidered labels that you can have made, please let me know. Um, but anyway, I bought this one. This is much thinner than the other ones. You can kind of see that. I like this one for some things that I'm doing. And there is a, I don't even know. This might, there's so much on here. There is so much on here. So this is a little bit thinner and this might, this is going to work better, especially when I can, um, when I'm doing like a flat straight label, um, because it's not going to make anything too thick. And then there's this one, which is also the cotton one. You can see it's much thicker. Um, so. Tell me what you think. I, I'm very interested. I really am. All right, so we're going to turn the camera down, and I'm going to show you the rest of what I got. Okay, I'm going to start with the thing I already showed you, which were these wonderful Mother's Day. They're meant to be ornaments. I do not plan on using them as ornaments. I plan on using them on some of my um, paper crafting. And they're in, they're very, very thin wood, which, was, which is going to make them per perfect for paper crafting, but I just loved this vintage look that they had going. <laughs> Not sure I want one that just says vintage Mother's Day cards, uh, but, some, but the ones that actually are the vintage, look how cute that is. You know what, let me bring that in a little bit. Let's zoom in a wee, wee bit on that one. There we go. She's so cute. Okay. Kind of something here for everyone. Look at that one. So you should get three of each. I saw one that in here so far that only had two. Oh, wow. I really do just love this beautiful vintage look. Um, this is super cute. So I think that I'm going to be using these on top of maybe some... Um, note cards or this one, maybe not so much because the hole is right through the mother's head. So I may have to repurpose this one, which is unfortunate because I love that it's got the little boy uh, in there. Super, super cute, love those. All right, the plan is made. Then I got this, let me pull back out a little bit for you. I got this really cool washi tape set. And I wanted to be able to show you all. I'm gonna try to find a happy medium here. Um, so we've got kind of this fall wheat look. Let me take out. We're gonna do it this way. I love their boxes. They always are boxed really well. I'm gonna do it this way just so you can see what we're looking at here. I know I made a mess. So let's take a look at this one first. Oh, look at those bunnies. Oh, those are super cute. All right, so we've got some repetition. No, do we? Yeah, it starts here. Oh, nope, there. Nope, there. There we go. So it's going to be those four, it looks like. Let me pull that back a little bit. super cute okay yeah I do say cute a lot somebody somebody was sharing that with me <laughs> like do I oh I guess I do I guess it's just my word now there doesn't look like there's a whole lot this one has no it doesn't look like there's a whole lot on any of these you're not going to get a tremendous amount going on here um trying to find where we start to repeat here Oh, this one's wonderful. Loving those pandas. Oh my word, it just keeps going. Okay, this is where I believe we start to repeat. I'm seeing that one on that side. So, if you have a panda lover in your world, I liked sort of the, the nature aspect of this one. 
Um, let's see what's next. This one looks to be just fruits and vegetables. I gotta put it back on, sorry. Gotta wind it back nice and neat. Okay. There's a lot in this one to see. That one's just a really nice like watercolor repetition. That'll be nice. I like the simplicity of this one. I think you can do a lot with that one. This one, I'm not gonna go bother to go ahead and unfurl it. It's clearly these um, birds. Does anyone know what kind of bird that is? I am not a good enough bird watcher. This one, I think, is just a repetition of peaches, maybe? I don't think they're strawberries. Huh. All right, let's see. let's see what this one is. This Oh, this is Easter eggs. I actually know what this one is, shockingly. I'm gonna have to go this way with it. Look at those cute Easter eggs. Those are adorable. I actually do know other synonyms for cute. <laughs> I'll try out a few. All right, so you got the nice bamboo look here. Lots of gold in that. That's a nice, again, that's a really nice, simple design that could go on so many different things. All right, here we go. All right, now. Let me see this one. Oh man. Look at that one. That is just wonderful. I am loving all those wonderful forest animals. Okay. Love, love, love that one. Let's see what else we do now. I've got to roll it back up. Oh no, that might take a sec. Okay, I was wrong. I should have told you to get a snack. I didn't think how difficult it would be to roll some of these back up. There. But if you want to get a good look at them, that's the only way to do it, is to really unroll them for a minute and see what you got. Oh, wow, look at the mushroom one. Oh, guys. All right, that is a beautiful fall. It looks like that's the repeat pattern right there uh, because we've got another one of these baskets on the other end, so it doesn't have a lot of um, uh, variety through it, but it is really nice. I mean, you really get that fall feeling from it. That'll look nice on cards. I think you're just going to have to... I'm trying to go in order of, of height. This one certainly appears to be mostly a wheat field. So... And I think you've got repetition pretty pretty early on. I'm not really sure if this is, I think this is the right side up. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, one of the reasons I liked this particular set was because it had a lot of different um, seasonal elements in it, I thought. You certainly have a lot of spring in here, but you, start, but you also get some fall. So um, I don't think there's any winter or summer that I really saw. Although this could be summer. This absolutely is. This one's absolutely summer because you're not going to get that kind of, um, 
You're not going to have those fruits around if you're growing them yourself until summer. I got it upside down. All right, let's see what this one does. Oh, this is a whole barnyard scene. You have a whole bunch of ducks. Ducks? Wow, this one just keeps going. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You get all of this in a non-repeating. So it's a pretty big length um, that you go without needing to, without having a repeat. That's a pretty, pretty big length. And that's going on easier than the last one was. I think the bigger ones are going to go on a little bit easier. Okay, so well, I think you, yeah, you do get winter in here, so you get all the seasons. Um, I think there's more spring in here. Spring is the dominant. Oh, that's it's like a little Italian village, don't you think? Hey, okay. all right. There's your repeat. So this one's not a, this one does not go on forever as far as the repeat. That's pretty. That one is very pretty. And I think this one in particular could truly be uh, spring, summer, or fall. It just depends on what you pair it with. And then you've got that great look. All right, just a couple more. Um, oh, wow. I really, I mean, really the reason I was, I was interested in this one had to do with all of these wonderful fall scenes. And this one looks like it's got separate scenes going on here. So you can see the, the um, wolf, you can see the deer, there's a bear and a fox, another deer, and then there's the repeat with the wolf. So, this really is beautiful. Lots of gold elements in there. That is such a beautiful washi tape. So much of the washi tape I enjoy just because it is just so artistic. And, and it's supposed to be, but um, it's just beautiful to look at. Okay, let's do this one. Let's see what kind of a feel we're going to get from this one. Oh, definitely spring. Look at that. Okay. Oh no, let's see. This is going to be another one that kind of goes on forever. Oh, I'm still going. Okay, there. That's the repeat. That's where we found. So this one really... Sorry, I'm going to measure this. This one has a, where's that start? Right there, okay. Wow, that is 15 inches of not repeating, of non-repeating. Just this wonderful farmland. 15 inches of non-repeating is a lot. Uh, kind of interesting to see, to think about it that way. Now I've got to get those 15 inches back on the roll. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. All right, almost there. Got it. All right, so our last two are definitely winter. So let's take a look at this one. So we've got this really wonderful, um, sort of nighttime scene. Okay, so that's where it repeats. You can see a very specific repeat. So that is more like a do 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 eight inches. That has eight inches before it repeats. Well maybe maybe seven from there. Really nice. Alright, one more. I hope you enjoyed this part of it because when people show me these, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to, you know, I'm not, I don't know what it really looks like because I haven't seen the whole thing. I'm just seeing like a little snippet on the side. So I usually do this the way I want 
I wouldn't want to look at it when I do them, so. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It's so nice and wide. Just almost like being in the Alps, I think. So there's our repetition. I'm gonna stop it right there. So there's my repetition right from there to about there. So that is, again, that's about an eight inch span that you get before it repeats. Just makes me think of the Alps, I guess. I have not been to the Alps. It still makes me think of that. Maybe someone who has. Very nice. All right. So, loving the washi tape. I will put it back um, later. Let's move forward. I'm going to show you if I can get it out of here. This is what happens when I don't prep. <laughs> okay. This is so cute. All right. You get the little um, bunny. And the bunny looks... Oh, let me pull out a little bit. So this bunny piece looks very much like um, a peep. And I'm trying to remember all the aspects of what you do with these. Um, but you've got your carrot. I love the way this carrot is gonna have layers to it. I cannot, this makes a bow. Both of these make a bow. So I think it's part of making the bunny bow. I'll have to pull up the picture of it and see if I can figure it out. Or when, if you look in the uh, description and you look at the, um, the, the item list, you'll be able to see how that one works out. Okay, and I think I only had a few of these. I love this one. There's a lot of detail here. And it looks a lot like Mickey. Maybe it is. But this is a very detailed bunny to cut out. I think this one's gonna be gorgeous. You just do the right, you know, single color. What my plan is a single color on top and then definitely another, you know, a, a contrasting or a comparable color underneath. And then we'll see, I might do tone on tone. Um, then I bought this stamp set and I love it. I know you'll get through this. You mean the world to me. Big hugs. Sending love and best wishes. I can't thank you enough. Here's the happy Mother's Day. You're simply marvelous. You're loved beyond measure. Here for you always. And thank you for your friendship. So I liked this one just because it had so many different, really lovely sentiments on it. Um, and I still get the Mother's Day one. So. All right. Now. Goodness, sorry. Camera's kind of going all over. I'm going to zoom in again because... I am going to show you um, these. You know, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to zoom out again. <laughs> I want to show you these. Um, I think they're meant to be postcards. Get this open. Let me get this open. They are. Yep, they're postcard quality. So... They, these also come with stickers. So I'll show you these first because they are gorgeous. The back, you can do a postcard. You can use these as just insert in your um, journaling cards. Aren't they beautiful? They, I love these. Um, so actually I may end up using these as the top of notebooks because I think that they are just really beautiful. So if I do my little flip over notebooks, but I'm not doing an Easter show, so these may have to wait. So that, and then these stickers came with them. I'm gonna zoom in so you can really look at them. So you get these, you get two sets of that one with these adorable bunnies and these like stamps. They look, they're a lot like stamps. And I will use these on the backs of these cards um, in the in place of a stamp, uh, even for just the journaling card. 
because I think that that's gorgeous. And then you get two sets of these. So this one, I think this one is just an absolutely awesome deal. These, these stickers are just adorable. So I'm loving that. I feel like I got, you know, more bang for my buck. Um, and then I picked up this one. Let me get uh, this one so you can see it. I'm zooming in and out for you. Oh, that was too far out. Now you can see everything sitting around. Gotta find, there we go. So this is absolutely beautiful paper. Um, and there are many things you can do with this. You can certainly do a notebook with this and then you have a front and back. He's just absolutely wonderful, isn't he? Um, I think they call these mini posters. They are just gorgeous. Now this one, I couldn't fold over that way. It doesn't break down that way. Oh my word. I, seeing them now, I actually don't know what I'm going to do with them. But they are fabulous. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I know I'm almost silent looking through these. I love them so much. Um, so you could certainly uh, frame them. Um, the paper is not bad quality. It's not thick. Um, it's, a, it's a good quality. These, they, uh, to me, these are certainly frameable. I think I'm starting to repeat. Or am I? I can't tell anymore. I don't think I'm repeating. Oh, he's so cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I love them. That's definitely the one from the beginning. Okay, so I'm in awe of this little package. I think that these guys are just beautiful. Um, trying to figure out if I actually saw repetition here. Let's take a quick look and see. I thought that was a repeat, but I don't think so. I think these are all individual. Wow. Okay. I'm going to look through those again because later at leisure. <laughs> All right. We're about to move into some of the smaller items. I'm going to start with some stickers. These are considered wine label stickers. And I looked at them and said, well, you know, okay, they'll fit on your wine label, but they certainly do not have to because I thought they were really wonderful. So let me do it this way so you can really see them. Uh, they are approximately um, like four and a quarter by four and a quarter probably off of this um, backing, they're gonna be four by four. So they would fit on your cards. Wow. Again, love these. They are a little bit shiny for me. I'm not really fond of the shiny, um, but it really just depends on how you're using them. So I think those are wonderful. And now, we still have stickers to go through, two packs, but all right, so my next one are more bunny stickers because you all know me and bunnies. And I love to show you all of them so you know everything that's in the pack. Look at that one. These are super cute. I'm gonna use her in um, one of the recipe books. Maybe, let's see, should I zoom this in a little bit more so you can see it even better? There we go. They're not huge stickers, but they're not teeny tiny. Every once in a while you'll order something from Timu and it's teeny tiny. Love the bunny on the bike. 
You know, I may have already picked up a set of these. I can't remember. But I love them, so I'm okay with that. And I think there's a lot in here that doesn't have to be just Easter. So I always like it when I have, get more usability out of it instead of just a single holiday. Some of these are looking familiar. I do do that sometimes. I Clearly I know what I like because I order it more than once. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's all good. Look at how cute they, but they're so cute. How could you not order multiples? It's just what I'm saying. How could I? Love that one. That one's very, I, to me, very St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Okay. Oh, these are just, look at her. And you know what? Even if I do already have these, I'm enjoying going through them again. So it's all good. Because some of them look a little bit recognizable and some of them look just brand new to me like that one. I love him so much. I do find it interesting sometimes in these packs of stickers that you get uh, some sometimes very dramatically different type of artists work. Oh, that's all I can say. Ah, oh, too stinking cute. Oh, I missed a couple. All right. So I know that this is going to be a little out of the blue for this one. And I'm going to actually pull the camera back just slightly and turn this guy. Uh, because this next pack is not stickers. This next pack is part of a banner set. And I did not realize the pieces would be so small, but I'm really happy about it. So this is for like 4th of July or Memorial Day. And these are, aren't they wonderful parts for the banner? You get two of each. There's actually two here when I show them to you. You get two of each of these really beautiful old fashioned pieces. Look at that tiny Uncle Sam. These are wonderful. Okay. Super cute. I'm going to pull this up just a little bit so you get a better, you can see the whole thing. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at her. Love her. So definitely a really interesting set. There are quite a few in here. And as I said, this is a banner set, so... The t there's going to be a hole punched at the top. I don't know if you can see. Oh, let's see if we can do that. Mm, let me see if I can zoom in on her for a minute. There we go. So right there is actually a little hole. Wait a minute. It's right there. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was it. It's actually right there. I need to do my nails. Um, It's... So you do, but if you attach it to something, um, then you'll be fine. When you attach it to, to a backing of some kind, you won't see that hole. Get that focus back. There we go. Oh, there we go. Moving it around. Um, and there's only one left, and it's, you know, saving the best for last. Look at those two. I will never forget 4th of July. We would do that, you know, in my neighborhood. We would get the flag and we would have, we would do a little parade and super cute. Okay, now back to this size. Um, only a couple more things. I actually don't have any charms this time, but I do have a couple of things to show you. I'm pretty excited about these. So these are for uh, my purses and bags. Um, and you've got your hook here. And considering the prices that we pay here in the U.S., these were way cheaper. I mean, just way cheaper. So your strap goes through here. Um, 
This is the only piece that you get with this, so there are other pieces that should kind of match with it, especially for your strap so that you can double it up and move it. Um, but I love these. And I got, I think it's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so you get 10 in here. Um, and that was just really quite a deal. I wanted to order them and see... Um, with Timu, I always, if I'm going to think about using something, I you just have to order one and try. Um, really take a look. This is pretty, this is a pretty big um, piece. It's like an, the flat portion is about an inch and a half, which is pretty big uh, for what I use. So I've got to really consider how I want to use these. These are for much thicker webbing than I normally do, but... Okay, then I got buttons and they're spilling everywhere. This is like 50 buttons and it, it was 50 pieces. And these are so stinking cute. So you've got the little bears in all these different wonderful colors. These are definitely decorative pieces that, you know, they certainly look like buttons, but I would not use this as a button. That would just break it apart. I mean, they're not, they're just not thick enough. They're not gonna be sturdy enough to hold up as a button for something um, more heavy duty, but they're so cute. So um, I have some different thoughts about how I want to use these. I will probably use some of them and attach them directly to cards and things and maybe run a little bit of thread through there so you can kind of see it. Maybe not, I'll see. Um, but I just thought they were adorable. And so I got this one. And then let me put that one back away. That's going to take a little bit of effort to put them all back in here. But they really, I really wanted to do something with these. They are just so adorable. I think these would be a cute embellishment in your uh, junk journals because they are not so horribly thick that they'll be problematic, but they definitely give it texture. And texture always makes things, I don't know, more alive. And this is our last piece, guys, for my oh-so-short. <laughs> All right, we're going to end with these absolutely adorable bunnies. I know, shocking that I got bunnies. They're so cute. Um, so you get all of these different uh, looks to your bunnies. To your, oh, look at this one. I haven't even seen them. These are all very different. I love that one. That one I think belongs in my Alice in Wonderland book. And, oh, that one's cute. Look at that one. I love the blues on that one. They're all pretty adorable. You've got that chevron print. I'm trying to stay out of your way. Um, and I want you to be, oh, look at that one. See, I turn over a new one and that one's really nice. I love the blues. Another one of those. This pink one's really pretty. Chevron. And that guy. So, oh, let's see if we missed anything. There you go. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the Timu haul. If you liked it, if you like my content, please, uh, please consider subscribing and joining our wonderful little community. It really is a wonderful community. I, I get the best subscribers in the world. I really do. Um, and I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. I will see you next time. Cheers.